Okay, Mooterrant. I'm going to give you some tips and possibly answer some questions about Mooterrant that you may not already know. Now, if you haven't already watched my video on Mooterrant, you need to go to my channel. Or if you're watching this video in the description box over here, just click on more info and then go down and I should have the link there for you. If not, if the, the link don't work, just go to my channel. And once you're on my channel, go down to where my videos are at. And when you get down there where my videos are at, it should be right here. Uh, it should be uh, U-Turn, DVD Flick, and Image Burn. I, have, I normally have this on the first page, so you probably won't have to hit uh, see all. So you should be, it should be on the first page here. And you click on that, it'll take you to my video. And if you want to watch this in high quality, uh, up here on the uh, address bar, right after uh, the last word like page and you want to type in this right here and FMT equals 18 you type that in right up here and uh, don't leave no spaces or anything and it should give you a high quality of this video and it'll pretty much teach you how to get Mooturrent and how to download movies and stuff like that uh, if the Mooturrent uh, link don't work I will also have it on this video too the link to get the uh, Mooturrent if Mooturrent don't work um, it should automatically still take you to download.com and it, it should already have Mooturrent up there you just click on the search right here and it'll give you the search results for a Mooturrent then you just go down here and if you want to read about it it's right here and then click right here to download now when you want to download a movie Okay, I go more in depth on downloading movies on my uh, other tutorial, but I wanted to share with you a couple of things about uh, downloading movies. Um, now I ain't got an example right here, but uh, if you want to get a DVD quality movie, uh, you need to get one that would say say R5 on it, or if it says DVD rip, those are the DVD quality movies. Okay, I end up clicking on see all uh, downloads for today, and I end up coming up with uh, one right here, uh, the data or stand still, but uh, if you see it right here, it says R5, and that means it's DVD quality. Okay, now, uh, I had to do a search in order to find one that, has, that says CAM on it, but uh, if you see the word CAM, that means it's CAM. What is CAM? CAM is where someone's sitting in a theater with a uh, movie, uh, a, home, a home movie camera, and filming the uh, uh, the movie from uh, the theater. So that's what the CAM is. Uh, now sometimes you get one that says screener, which I don't see one here. But if it says screener, it can be sometimes it can be still crappy, but sometimes the screeners they do a real good job, and it's almost DVD quality. Although, there was a couple of times I downloaded a screener movie and it was pretty much DVD quality. So, you know, sometimes you got to try and see when it comes to that. Okay, now I'm going to show you an example of a fake turret um, that luckily I just not came across. Um, I seen one that says uh, Mall Cop uh, DVD Rip AXXO. As some of you might or might not know, AXXO normally has really good uh, turrets to download um, but this right here is not really AXXO so um, someone was trying to be like him but it wasn't him now as I looked at I went to where it says comments 6 and I cl uh, clicked on that tab and it brought me to all the comments and on here it was telling me that um, do not download this because it is a fake and it's not really AXXO. Um, as you see right here, fake, 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 fake. Everybody's saying it's fake or it might, it might have a virus. But they're mostly just saying it's fake. So there's no need to download this and it might actually have a virus. So I, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't download it. But also, you know, AXXO, normally he has really good downloads and normally all his downloads are good. So. And normally when it is fake, they're end up telling you. Okay, here's a sample of sometimes when you go to download a movie or a program or something like that, you'll probably get all these zip files right here. Right here. Now, when you get a whole bunch of zip files like this when you download, 
the only thing you need to do is right click um, right click and extract file to only you only have to do one of them you ain't got to do all of them and that's all the tips I have for the mini Nova part now let's go to Pirate Bay okay on Pirate Bay um, you go to piratebay.org by the way mini Nova you would need to go to mini Nova org but power bay you will go to the power bay.org and when you're there uh, you come up with this right here now you can choose you can browse for terms it'll take you to the next page and it gives you some categories right here where you can browse to or you can just go ahead and uh, type in what you're looking for and it will search for you now in some ways power bay is, is a lot like uh, um, Mini Nova. Except some of the advantages that Mini Nova has is that, is that Mini Nova gives you a little bit more of a, a uh, detail on what you exactly exactly what you're downloading. Uh, Pirate Bay sometimes can do that too, because Pirate Bay they have the description area here. But one thing Pirate Bay has over Mini Nova is that all with well, Pirate Bay, all you have to do is just scroll down here, and you'll get all the comments on here. Now, in some of the comments, they'll tell you what the video quality is and the audio. And that's on, like, canned movies and stuff like that. And sometimes they do it on R5s, but pretty much you see R5, you know, it's DVD quality. Okay, a couple more tips that I have for you is the music. The music, normally it's kind of hard to find just a single song. A lot of times what you're going to have to do is download the whole album. And then pick from the album of uh, what you, you know, what you want and what you don't want. Um, but uh, to get a to get one, you can go in search area, type in what you want, and you know check music or something like that, and just click on who you want. Like right now, I got Ti versus uh, Future Rihanna. Uh, like I said, sometimes you can get just a single song, and sometimes you have to do a whole album. And this, I believe, is just a single song. Yeah, this is just a song by itself. Uh, like I said, you can go right here and see if there's any comments saying it's a virus or not. But normally, you end up getting like a whole album. Uh, so sometimes it's kind of hard just to find a single song, and sometimes it's not. Like right, here we go, we got something here that might be a whole album, or a whole CD. Yeah, see, when you get like a whole CD, you get all the music that you're downloading here. And after you download it, or when you, let's say if we go ahead and download this. We're going to click on download this turret. Uh, you're going to uh, make sure it's on open with return. Now you get this right here. Now you can uncheck whatever song you don't want. I said I don't want those songs. Then click OK, and it will download that turret, and it won't download the songs that you did not that you uncheck. It'll just download the songs that you check. If you like two bars and you like to have a mini number two bar or a power bay two bar, all you have to do is type in mini number two bar. Or a Pirate Bay 2 bar, and it'll take you right to uh, the site where you need to download that. Oh, before I go, one more tip for you too. On, on your U-turn here. Normally it's best to have a few turns uh, seating. This is seating right here. This is what I mean by seating. Uh, it's 100% percent now it's seating. That means it's sending it out to somebody else. It's best for you to have a few of them here. I say, you know, four or five, something like that. Because if you have, uh, you know, you know, four or five of them seating, then it opens up your bandwidth, so, you know, and it pretty much won't slow your computer down. It, uh, only if you're downloading a, uh, a whole bunch of things. If you have like a lot of downloads, then it'll slow your computer down. But it wouldn't hurt to leave a few downloads downloading. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. If you like my videos and you want to uh, support them, you can do so by subscribing or donating. If you want to subscribe and you're watching my video. You can click right here to subscribe. If you want to donate, click on the Miller Info section and click on the first link. If you're on my YouTube channel, you can click right here at the first link right there. Uh, and click right here if you want to subscribe. If you're not on YouTube and you want to donate, you can go to daddyjamesfilms.webs.com and then click on the links button. It'll take you to my links page. And on this page is a bunch of other uh, links to other softwares that you can try. Um, but you can go right here where it says please donate and it'll take you to my donate page. And you can click right here to donate. Hope you enjoy my tutorial and have a nice day.